Attack on another tornado to Wednesday night's big severe event, and this one was in Rehoboth. EF1 winds to 90 miles an hour. It was on the ground for exactly one minute. Barely seen on radar, just a little blip. Half mile uh, on the ground and about 50 yards wide did create a swath of damage. We also had a microburst in Seekonk near the high school. Second tornado from Wednesday night. Four tornadoes so far in New England. We average two tornadoes in Massachusetts every year, so we've reached our quota. I think we're good. Well, we know Mother Nature has a mind of her own. 73 today, uh, near 80 in Norwood. We started off in the 40s in some cases, back through Bedford. What was that about, right? Tonight will be near 50 degrees. So the clouds are coming in to warm us up, so to speak. And tomorrow is mostly dry. Although, dot, 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 I have to add that extra risk for a shower Saturday afternoon, and especially Saturday night. We have rain moving in. Storms on Sunday, that severe threat and drier will return early next week. The humidity is not in the picture, but it's trying to get back here. It comes in via Pittsburgh, so we'll see those dew points rise tomorrow. And right now, uh, those temperatures are falling. The vineyards are going to be colder than 53 because it is now 50 degrees. And some of the suburbs will go back into the mid-50s and lower 50s, too. The rain showers, confound it. I thought they'd stay out of Saturday's forecast. But it looks like we might get a couple of these to sneak in tomorrow. What time, though, you say? Well, it's not until later in the afternoon. I can't even promise they'd come through between 5 and 7. But still, I think maybe through the Merrimack Valley. Look at this plume of rain that goes into northern New England. I mean, we're just nip-tuck here in southern New England. We might get a couple of sprinkles across western Mass. And then we'll start to see maybe a few sprinkles get in between 4 and 5 o'clock through Lawrence and back into southern New Hampshire. Better chance there. And then, of course, we have rain on Saturday night. There's 11 o'clock with a, maybe a downpour mixed in, too. Then Sunday, fast forward to into the heat. We're right there near 90 degrees. That's only half the story, though, when you combine that with the humidity, right? The feels like temperature or the heat index goes into the low 90s, almost mid 90s as we go into the afternoon. Look at that at 2.30. Well, that's a beach day. Yeah, but keep an eye to the sky because the skies get dark in the afternoon as the storms start to move in. Here they are uh, marching in between about 1 and 2 o'clock in western New England. Okay, could they get to Manchester by 2? Certainly if they're racing, yes, maybe 2 to 3, and then they press into Boston between about 4 and 5. A line of thunderstorms that could have some severe um, items here and here, like strong gusty winds and maybe some hail. The potential is also for some brief spin-up tornadoes, but that threat is small. I don't want to make you panicked on the weekend forecast. It's a Friday night. You should be mellowing out. But um, Friday night into, I mean, I'm sorry, Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening, tornado threat is low, but the wind threat is higher, and the hail threat as well, too, is also high. These could be nasty storms. Tropical storm barrel just formed over the last half hour or so. This is moving westbound into, uh, it looks like the Caribbean, passing through the Lesser Antilles. This may become a very strong hurricane, too. Category 3 potential, but right now staying at a 2. And it goes into the Caribbean and heads towards Jamaica early next week. So be watching it very carefully. Any remnant of that and downpours that could get into our jet stream and pulled up into New England. But that's a long way off. Let's focus on the 4th. Right now, it does seem like there's a threat for storms on that day and going into the weekend. Not washed out days, just a chance at some storms. We're back after the break.